Hi everyone, this is Mistel and today I'm going to show you a, a new PvP team that I have set up. In one of my recent video I was complaining that I didn't have a Gilnir Raven yet and one of you guys watched the video and thought, hey, I want to help out. So um, Eric donated a Gilnir Raven to a really good cause, namely me setting up a um, Call Darkness team. So thank you Eric, it's, I really appreciate it. And um, the setup of this team is a Dredge Hatchling, it's Gilnir and Raven, and it's Crow. And all of them run with Nocturnal Strike, and two of them run with Cold Darkness. I don't know actually, I haven't tried to, to run with uh, tri uh, triple um, Cold Darkness, and maybe it would actually be, uh, be better because I don't actually use Dark Flame that much. Uh, but this is uh, the setup I have been running with so far, and it's working really well. So you just start by doing Cold and Darkness, and you can see I'm up against a, an Azure Veltming. And this is obviously a, a trouble pet to be up against with the, this team, because they are all flyers, and um, most of their attacks are weak against uh, dragons. But it's okay, because as you can see, Cold and Darkness took a good bunch of its life, um, and then I just finished off with the uh, Nocturnal Strike and uh, Shadow Talon, which actually hits pretty hard even so uh, they are not um, strong against them. The other thing with this team that I'm up against is that they have a, an elemental, and elementals are, you know, um, they don't take uh, anything uh, effect from weather effects, which is also a problem because my nocturnal strike has a very low hit chance, and the reason I run with cold darkness is obviously that it will, all, it will have a 100% um, increase if the target is blinded. But, since elementals don't take effect from weather effects, they won't be blinded. But I was lucky here and hit anyway, um, but but you, you have to be um, aware of that, because uh, elementals can really can really mess with your team. So now my um, first pet died, and you can see I have one down and one almost dead. I'm just gonna... Um, Usually I would just do a Nocturnal Strike here, and I'll do it anyway, and I was lucky there. But you could also just have done a Call Darkness to, to kind of make sure that the Elemental uh, died. I was lucky, and um, you know, that's a chance you take once in a while. One of the things that are really, really good with this team is that it counters um, something that I come up against a lot, namely the uh, Anubis at Idle and the Sandstorm. So you just basically wait. Uh, with cost, uh, casting Cold Darkness, and then um, cast it after they have cast Sandstorm, because that negates the benefit that they get from that. Uh, and also, if you are lucky and you for some reason didn't pay attention, or you know, you just uh, didn't count correctly with how many rounds were left, um, you can just swap in your other pet with Cold Darkness, in case uh, you didn't have it to counter the Sandstorm, or you didn't have it off cooldown. So anyway, um, I'll say with this team, I probably win seven or eight times out of ten. It's really strong. The uh, main trouble I have come up against was um, a dual Sunflower and uh, Crawdad team. That was really tough because uh, the elementals don't um, take effect of, of weathers, so I, I didn't actually hit with my Nocturnal Strikes. And this team is very dependent on the Nocturnal Strikes hitting and, and doing tons and tons of damage. Other than that, most teams have been quite easy to, to counter. Um, once in a while you are lucky with some uh, bad RNG or you know your opponent is just lucky. But um, other than that, uh, this is a great team. Oh, also, this is a great team against the uh, the Death Hatchling. Oh, what is it called? The Death? Yes, Death Adder Hatchling, which has um, blinding Blinding poison, because um, they will use that as as a main thing for their team and depend a lot on it. And your your pets are kind of immune to that because they can use nocturnal strike. So um, anyway, that's about it. Uh, Eric, once again, th thanks a lot for giving me the uh, Galarian Raven. I'm having tons and tons of fun with this team. Uh, if you guys have any comments, ideas or suggestions for future videos, make sure you leave it in the comment section below. And um, make sure you subscribe to my channel, because there will be a lot more videos coming out soon. Until next time, bye bye!